This is my steampunk hot air balloon. I'm gonna show you how to build it. What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. All right guys, so I was playing around and I came up with this which I think is actually pretty cool. So we're gonna build it in the air so you can get the full effect later, but um, yeah, this is my version of a steampunk hot air balloon. I figure steampunk they would put some kind of propeller on it just to make it over the top and uh, I really like the way this looks so let's just start building it okay so here's everything you're gonna need I did not give the uh, the mounts the totals because you may want to change stuff up uh, this is this is kind of just the base for you guys you can do whatever you want but I'm gonna give you the step-by-step -step, okay so first what you're gonna do is you're gonna find go how high you want in the air it doesn't matter I don't even know how high I am that one was 11 up from where we're about to start building so just pick a spot and what you're gonna do is you're going to build a five by five cube right so that's five this way five this way and then you're gonna fill this all the way and go up make sure it's five by five okay once that's done then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in with your red or whatever color you choose that's the best part about this you can make it whatever color you like okay and you're gonna go on all sides now the reason I chose the dirt there is obviously it's nice and easy to break uh, filler block you don't want to waste a lot of really good like concrete or wool or whatever you're using for you know something you're not going to need okay so then what we're going to do real quick let's just put the white here um we're going to actually just go like this okay so you're just going to put spots like that oops right there right there Okay, same on all sides and then you're gonna come in here you're gonna actually break that and just put the white in there so break the corners put the whites in there like that okay just like this perfect okay you're gonna do the same thing for the bottom but before you do that you're gonna come underneath with it or, or underneath of it like this and then you're gonna break a hole there and you're gonna do the same thing on the top okay you're gonna put three and then you're just gonna put stuff there like that okay and then you can go ahead and put that there with that on top okay while we're up up at the top let's just finish this off real quick so what I like to do is just put some junk blocks here and we're just gonna go one two three one two whoops two three and these are just for the blades. Again, you don't have to put these on. I just thought it was something fun to add to the top because uh, if, you're, if you're a fan of steampunk like I am, they do everything so over the top and it's just fantastic. So I like to face the, uh, the trap doors like that. And then you can just kind of come in here and, uh, and break it. Now, since you're gonna have this high up in the air, it's easier to use the dirt than just to kind of maneuver and you know crouch and place that. Okay, so you got the copter part done. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to come in the inside. Now, the reason I have this, you do not have to do this. You could just leave it the way we had it or you could put white or something, is I wanted to get the impression that there's um, like a shiny design on it. And since obviously we don't have any like uh, chrome blocks or anything like that, I wanted to go ahead and use lamps. You can use, or, or sea lanterns. You can go ahead and use lamps if you want, um, but it should look really nice at night. We'll, we'll, we'll actually look at that. We'll turn the lights off and, and kind of see. Um, but that's that's the whole reason I chose this, in case you're wondering why this odd design in the middle of a hot air balloon. I want it to kind of be like uh, like the shiny like a shiny picture, like vinyl or something like that. So that's why I went ahead and did this. Plus, again, you'll be able to see it at night. Uh, and I think, I think it'll look really, really good, to be honest. Okay. Cool. So now what we're going to do is from each side, you're going to find the middle one right here. So this middle block, and you're just going to go ahead and put, oh, just put one of the andesite wall on each side. Okay, just like this. And just like that, perfect. Okay, next what you're going to do, we don't need that anymore. <clears throat> we're going to come in here with our uh, birch fence. We're going to go down three. Okay, and then we can put another andesite wall. Again, one, two, three with an andesite wall. Do it on the whole side, on, on all four sides. Okay, now that you have that done, 
what you're going to go ahead and do is on this bottom this bottom uh, birch right here birch fence just go ahead and put some uh, some junk blocks just so we can actually build up then what we're going to do is we're going to take our birch fence gates oh not that our birch fence gate open it up and that's just going to give us another level uh, of design so we have all this like fanciness right there actually we can keep that there for now keep those there because what we want to do is we want to get the iron bars in the middle here okay just like that then you can go ahead and you can break this just like so whoops right there and then on top of this you can go ahead and put your campfire okay actually let's make all of this higher sorry one up okay so we're just going to make this one up because we want it to be right on there so then we could break that okay and just like that perfect okay and then you can go ahead and put your campfire right on top cool now what we're going to do is go ahead and right under here you're going to put a trap door just like so on all four sides okay and then put a trap door on the top of this as well so it looks just like this so this is kind of the whole unit so if you're looking up like that's the whole secure unit okay now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take the planks just put them right there dark oak these are dark oak planks okay just like so boom and then in the middle of it you're going to go ahead and put your uh, I'm sorry you're going to go ahead and put where is it your birch fence again which we can't actually do right now I forgot so then underneath you're going to go upside down okay so upside down stairs just like this on all the sides in the middle of them you're going to put regular stairs and then on top of that you're going to put the um, birch fence gate okay so again put that there birch fence gate that there birch fence gate you guys get the the uh, the point of this okay nope make sure it has to be on the bottom so this is where they would walk up okay now on the inside you're gonna come in here and you're just gonna put regular blocks so that way there is an area to stand if somebody actually wanted to stand in here okay then you're gonna trace underneath so you're gonna trace this right here you're gonna do a three by three and then the middle is just gonna have one extra okay so it kind of gives it the whole little shape that it's got going on cool now in each of these corners you're gonna come down one two one two and now we're gonna put our barrels okay and the barrels are just for decoration have you ever seen like the sandbags on a uh, on a hot air balloon it's basically just what it is uh, and can we actually put it this way Nope, underneath here oh I didn't even realize you could do that. no we don't we don't want that part we don't want that part at all so what we're gonna do is drop two and then come back up and face it up so that way from underneath all you see is this okay and do that on all four sides okay now that we got that settled what we're gonna do is right on the andesite you're gonna go ahead actually we can go one lower and we can put a uh, white banner white banner and do the same thing here okay and we're gonna do that all the way around uh, and it just to me it has this like flowing effect when you're looking at it uh, it's entirely up to you whether you want to do it you can try the red um, I also included some red banners so we can maybe see in the undercarriage since this one is going to be in the air I just think it has like see how it has like a flowing effect to it I, I like it I like it okay and then what we can do oh we already have it here now what we're gonna do is right above it we're gonna go with our iron bars we're gonna go one two one two right we're gonna come down one out one and down one now to me this kind of gave this like rocket ship kind of uh, appearance and I think from the bottom it'll look kind of cool so one two and then you're gonna do this on 
on all the sides, okay, all the way around in those exact two spots. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I added the red. I kind of like it there, and I also, I forgot to tell you this, but add the spruce doors right to here, right underneath where the andesite walls meet. You just go ahead and just put some spruce doors down, and uh, I think it ties everything in, uh, and I like it. I like it a lot. You could probably even make the bl uh, the blades a little bit bigger on the top, maybe another two out. Uh, I kind of went with like a like a whimsical kind of one, you know, like the little beanie hats where they're just very, very tiny. But uh, I really like this design. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you change it at all, I'd love to see a picture of it. That's going to do it for me. Until next time, Captain Obvious out. Peace.